Now, in this part of the test, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. After each question, you will hear a beep sound. You will have 20 seconds to speak after you hear the beep. Let's talk about where you live. What kind of house, flat or apartment do you live in? I live in a flat which has a very beautiful color. It has white color and I am fond of this particular color. My house is a one storage house and it has all the amenities that I need, not only to work, but also to relax. Do you like living in that house, flat or apartment? Why or why not? Absolutely, yes, I am fond of living in my house. This is due to several reasons. Firstly, it is a comfortable house that I am fond of. It is a place to relax. Second of all, it's my favorite place to live because I can stay and talk with my family. What is your favorite place in your house, flat or apartment? And why? My home office is definitely my favorite place to live in and to enjoy various activities. My home office is intended for me to work specifically to make content. I am a YouTuber, so I usually make content in my home office. What type of house, flat or apartment, would you like to live in the most? And why? I could say that I would like to live in a flat or a grounded house because a flat means that I own my own property compared to having or living in an apartment. Having a house or flat means that I have neighbors and all the facilities in my neighborhood. Let's talk about bags and backpacks. What kind of bag or backpack do you use most and why? I usually use a backpack to go to work. Therefore, I am fond of a backpack that can accommodate various type of devices and equipments that I use for my work. One of which is I love a backpack that can carry my laptop. What items do you usually carry in a bag or backpack, and why? As I previously mentioned, I always carry my laptop due to several reasons. Uh, first and foremost, I use my laptop for my work, one of which is to teach and also to edit videos. Second of all, I use my laptop to do various Zoom meetings. Did you usually take a bag or backpack with you to school when you were younger? Why? Or why not? No, I didn't, to be honest, because I didn't have any money to buy uh, backpacks when I was at schools. I couldn't afford to buy any type of equipment that was needed for my school. So in the past, I just, bring my, I just brought my book. Would you ever give someone a bag or backpack as a gift? Why? Or why not? Yes, of course, because I do think a lot of people, especially my colleagues or friends, do need backpack as they need a backpack for their work. Most of my colleagues are professionals, so they need a backpack to carry their laptop and other belongings. Now. I'm going to show you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for two minutes. Before you talk, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You may now use the paper you have prepared and take notes during this time if you wish. I'd like you to describe a time when you had a disagreement with a family member. Your one minute preparation time 
starts now. All right, preparation time is over. Remember, you have two minutes to speak. I'll tell you when your time is up. You can start speaking after the beep. I would like to describe and further elaborate with details a time or a moment when I had the disagreement with a member of my family. The disagreement happened roughly 10 years ago in my 20s. And it happened during that time because I had this various perceptions on what the type of career that I would like to have and to pursue. The disagreement was about choosing my job or my career. At the time, I wanted to teach. Teaching was not a popular type of profession um, being viewed by various people, one of which being viewed by my parents. They thought that it's not a profitable type of career. It was best for me to pursue other lucrative careers and also path. The disagreement was very unique and interesting because it ended quite good because I could persuade and also could convince my parents that although teaching is considered to be an unpopular type of profession, but because I was intended to teach English, English is a type of area that would benefit me in various aspects, one of which is to provide and to be a source of lucrative income. And I explain in details on how I would gain various type of income or revenue. I felt very amused and in the same time happy because the disagreement was actually a very common interaction when we had different perspective among one another. And I didn't hesitate to disagree with my parent and we ended up quite nice. Your time is up. Thank you. We've been talking about a time when you had a disagreement with a family member. And I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. After each question, you will hear a beep sound. You will have 30 seconds to speak after you hear the beep. Now, let's consider dealing with disagreements. What personal qualities or characteristics make a person good at dealing with disagreements? I believe that maturity is the type of trait that people need to have in order to deal with different type of disagreement. Maturity means that we are able to deal with problems in a good way and in a wise way. Being a mature person is not easy. We need to deal and to learn various type of lessons. But yes, maturity is very important to deal with disagreement. Do you think that people today deal with disagreements more calmly than people did in the past? Why or why not? I don't think so. I do believe that people nowadays are not able to handle disagreement well compared to the past. In the past, we learned that parents were more mature because they dealt with hardship during their time. It enabled them to deal with problem, one of which is disagreement quite well. Nowadays, there are various type of information coming from the internet and those information are bad. Would you say that avoiding disagreements is always a good strategy? Why or why not? Definitely not. Avoiding disagreement means that we are avoiding problems and issues these problems and issues will not be solved if we avoid them. It will just be a type of problems that we we'll need we need to face in the in the future. So I do believe that we need to face disagreement as the same in facing problem. By doing so, we are able to be a better person because we know how to deal and to solve problems by ourselves. One cara IELTS speaking mock test study. Sebenarnya dibantu oleh test glider. 
Tadi kamu bisa lihat bagaimana test glider memberikan pengalaman bagaimana IELTS speaking test itu biasanya dilakukan. Artificial intelligence dari test glider berperan selayaknya IELTS speaking examiner sesungguhnya dengan menanyakan pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang ada dan relatif sama dengan official IELTS speaking test. AI dari test glider juga memberikan feedback dan koreksi pada beberapa area yang perlu saya tingkatkan dalam bagian speaking. Saya bisa mengatakan bahwa feedback dan koreksinya relatif sama dengan IELTS speaking examiner sesungguhnya. Jadi, apa itu Test Glider. Test Glider adalah platform online berbasis AI yang bisa membantu kamu untuk belajar dan berlatih menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan pada IELTS Speaking Test. Nah, karena Test Glider ini adalah platform online, kamu bisa berlatih dan belajar dengan Test Glider kapanpun yang kamu mau. Tidak hanya untuk menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan pada IELTS Speaking Test, tapi juga seluruh bagian yang diujikan pada official IELTS Test. Alasannya karena test glider menyediakan IELTS mock test yang mencakup seluruh bagian pada tes IELTS dan mampu memberikan prediksi skor dalam waktu kurang dari 2 menit. Jadi, tentunya kamu akan memperoleh latihan dan persiapan yang lebih dari cukup untuk menghadapi official IELTS test. Nah, yang menarik nih, salah satu dari banyak manfaat belajar dengan test glider adalah teknologi AI-nya yang tidak hanya bisa menganalisa dan memberikan feedback untuk bagian speaking, tapi juga untuk bagian writing. Saya tahu bahwa kedua bagian ini, yaitu speaking dan writing, adalah dua bagian yang paling sulit yang kamu hadapi dalam official IELTS test. Jadi langsung saja klik link yang ada di deskripsi video dan pin komen video ini. Dan juga gunakan kode promo saya untuk mendapatkan diskon sebesar 10%. My name is Andrian and I'll see you around.